Hey, what's up? Uh, now that's what you're supposed to say nowadays when you uh, introduce a, a video of uh, you doing something with a guitar on uh, on YouTube or Facebook, and uh, either a hat as well, which is why I'm wearing this uh, dapper hat tonight. Although the real reason may be that I went out in the sun yesterday and um, a little bit sore on the top uh, region, and I'd rather resemble the top of a very smoothly polished billiard ball, uh, one of the red ones. Uh, anyway, that's not uh, what I came here to talk about. It's this uh, this old guitar here. It's a 1959 uh, Hofner President that I bought uh, off eBay as a bag of bits um, for not very much money. Um, what I've had to do to it, um, the neck was broken uh, around about the heel here, and it had been a very crudely repaired, which I had to um, cut out and reset. Uh, there were a lot of screw holes in the fretboard I had to take out um, a bit of rosewood, well I think it's pear wood in this, but, uh, but I replaced it with rosewood, uh, three frets worth, I chiseled that out. Um, I've replaced the binding all the way round, I've replaced all the frets, and I've just put some strings on it just to see what it sounds like really, because um, I didn't want to sort of get too far with all the reefing and everything. Um, and find that the neck needed resetting. Of course, with the break, I've lost a bit of the height, so I'd reset the angle, and uh, it goes on and on. Um, and the other thing is, one of the things with these guitars, they've got this protruding uh, bit of fretboard here, which uh, historically goes one way or the other. Fortunately, from on mine, it's gone down a bit, so I'm, it dips a little bit, which is uh, is better than it rising. So. But I really want to see if I've got any any sort of buzzing problems. Um, I've got to set the um, zero fret. Uh, the bridge is a little bit high. Um, it's got a very funny neck on it. It um, it's very very narrow. It's narrower than my uh, Guild uh, and, and most electrics. Um, but it's also very deep. It's uh, it's quite uh, quite deep. I don't know if you can pick that up. But it's it's actually like holding a baseball bat. In the, the jumbo frets feel a little bit like stair rods, so it's a bit of a dog to get to grips with to play to start with, but once you get used to it, it doesn't sound uh, too bad, and you do sort of keep picking it up again, so, so I'm quite uh, quite pleased with it, it's got a, a nice bright tone. It's not got that, um, you hear a lot of Dreadnoughts and a lot of acoustic guitars, you get a lot of uh, bars on the bass note. These are, these are very nice and clear, um, sound I quite like, and I think it'll be quite nice for playing uh, playing blues as a, probably as a, if I want to play Joni Mitchell down the pub, um, which is my secret life, um, they're probably not going to do the job, but, um, but for my other secret life, playing very quietly to myself at home, I think it'll, it'll be quite. Uh, Quite an attractive little guitar. Um, when it's finished, um, it's, uh, it, uh, it's quite nice for my limited uh, playing abilities. something else. Um, I only put a cap on because I quite like it. I don't think you need to have another excuse.
There you go. Let's go to bed.